guys, I'm just going to do a quick blush haul. I haven't done one in a really, really, really long time. Um, and I went in to get some of the Christmassy bits. Now I will apologise for the light and I have like three different lights on right now. I have my big light with the lampshade off, my little bedside light and the light on my camcorder like here to try and make it a bit lighter because I am shooting at night and it's horrible in Britain because it goes like dark at like six o'clock. It's ridiculous. So anyway, I have my little receipt so I can let you guys know how much it was. And I just want to do a little shout out to the Lush girl that served me called Hannah. She was really, really sweet and actually convinced me to get one of the items, which I'm glad she convinced me of. And she said, she asked for my YouTube channel, so she might be watching. So if you are, hi Hannah. Thank you so much for helping me. And there was two other really, there was one really lovely girl who helped me. Um, I don't know her name. And then there was a really nice other one who did like a facial massage for my mum. So the first thing I got, which I got, I well I've wanted to get ever since I like kind of dyed my hair, was the Marilyn like hair mask hair treatment, whatever you want to call it, and it's supposed to stop any like brassy orangey colours from building up in your hair and make it nice, nice and shiny and look really healthy and things like that. You get two hundred and twenty five grams in this big tub for eight ninety five, I think it is. Yeah, eight ninety five for this one. And to me it doesn't really smell like anything. It's got a bit of a weird texture. It looks almost like grainy custard. Like really thin grainy custard. It's really jiggly and so I think I, I won't need that much. It does say to, say to slop it. Well, not slop it. Put a thick coat of it on. But I have really thin hair so I reckon I can get at least two or three uses out of this but I smell a bit of like orange and a tiny bit of lemon and olive oil so it's really really good and I will link all these products below as well now on to the Christmas and Halloween stuff they made a couple of Halloween bits and I only got one so I only got one chunk of soap because I have plenty of the Angels Delight soap the North Pole one I wasn't or like you know it reminded me of the tree ball mints if anyone knows them in the UK they're like really strong breath mints um, the Northern Lights one kind of a bit too citrusy for me and then I can't remember and then they had this one and this is Mr Punch and it's a fruit, fruity boozy soap to help get you in the mood for a party or help be, rescue you the day after um, I haven't actually seen what this looks like. I'm like trash the packaging, aren't I? Maybe if I keep it off this side. That might work for better. Oops, okay. Kind of reminds me of a pink version of Miranda because it's like pink punch coloured, but then it's got all like these squares and like shapes in them. Oh, this smells much nicer out of the packaging. It smells like punchy, but then it has got that hint of booze in it. That smells really, really nice. It's more of a mature scent as well for Lush, I will say. If you're not too keen on kind of the girly, like, scents, or quite the, the quite young scents, I'll say. This one's a bit more of a mature scent. Like, I can see this being popular with people that are older. But it does smell gorgeous. It reminds me of something. A bit like a sweet or maybe a drink. That I can't remember the name of. Or I can't place. But I know the smell of it. And I got a full 95 chunk. So I'm just going to kind of like cut that up as and when I need it. That's why I used to cut all my soaps up and put them in a little bag. But I've realised now I just kind of cut them off when I need them and it works perfectly. Then I... malfunctions this is the halloween bath bomb that they have and it's called the enchanter and i can smell out the bag and it smells gorgeous already 
says a bewitching bath ballistic with layers of hidden surprises and an uplifting citrus perfume. Now this is 320. A lot of the prices have gone up in Lush at the moment, but I think that's happened in a lot of places. I think it's something to do with tax or something like that. Now what I will say is definitely if you're not 100% on the scent, take it home and try it. You've got nothing to lose. You might end up loving it. Because what I will say is when the scents are mixed with all the other ones in the store, they do smell a bit differently. Unless like, the smell is really overwhelming and powerful. Now this to me smelled really citrusy in the store. Whereas now it just doesn't. It smells citrusy but not overwhelming. So that's what it looks like. It reminds me a bit of the honeybee bath bomb. The light bit is like quite a bright orange actually. And then the yellow is showing up really vibrant. Whereas the yellow is not as bright than it is on camera. But it is, oh I just got out my nose, it is fairly big like compared to the palm of my hand. Granted my heart, my palm of my hand's not very big but it is like the size, oops, the size of like the palm of my hand It's maybe even a bit bigger. So it is like massive. I'm tempted, I might just use this one whole and I know that's very wasteful and they're very big. But I might just use that one whole so I can see what it looks like and then when I get another I'll crack it in half. I don't know how long those are around. Now on to the Christmas products. Um, so the first thing I got, I didn't end up getting this last year, but I decided to get it this year, and it's the Candy Mountain Bubble Bar. And I believe this was very popular last year because it smells like Snow Fairy, and well, it smells like creamy candy, which I think Snow Fairy is supposed to smell like. And it's a bubble bar, of course, and it's just this kind of like mountain that's green and pink swirled. It was white and pink swirled last year I believe but it just smells delicious. If you like creamy candy definitely try this you're gonna like it. I can promise you that you're gonna love it. And this was $2.45 as well and I'll probably get maybe two or three uses depending on how many bubbles I want in my bath. Then this was something I got last year. Um, I got loads of them last year and the year before I think it was and it just smells gorgeous and it's so white bath bomb. I believe this has been quite a good favourite for people because it just smells literally like crisp white apples. And this year, ooh, I'm getting white lush dust everywhere. This is quite worrying because having like, white dust covering my room. Let's sweep up after this video. But it has gone on huge. Now I'm talking like palm sized huge no joke guys it still has that gorgeous oh let's stuff up my nose um kind of crisp apple scent but apparently oh there's something inside of it the woman that sold it to me said you can i just thought it was like a bigger version so it gives like more scent but you actually chuck it against your bath well not like heavy chuck it but like lightly chuck it and it like it's supposed to be like a snowball and it like explodes into your bath and then there's something inside and I'm shaking it and getting dust everywhere but I can hear there's something rattling around inside like quite a few little bits now I'm not I was tempted to look it up on YouTube and see what it actually is inside but I'm not gonna because I don't want to wreck the surprise and that was 320 as well I know that last year was something like 195 or something it was really really cheap um, so that has gone up in price as well but obviously it's bigger and then I got cinders which I didn't I've never got but I got it this year to try with something ah my pants ripped and it just looks like this it's just an orange ball with like the popping candy and to me that just smells really cinnamony and warming whereas when I smelled it in the shop I wasn't that keen on it I've never been that keen on it when I've smelled it in store, but definitely, definitely smell it out of the store. I think it just smells a lot better when it's not in store, and it just literally smells like cinnamon and just reminds me of Christmas time every time I smell it, which is really, really nice. So that was two twenty five. They again were one eighty five last year, I believe. So they have gone up in price and they haven't changed. And then, oh, I need to put this in a bag. This is the melting snowman. Ew, what is that? Bug has decided 
it would like to live in my mesh bag. No thank you. I think like it's decided that it's not nice in there and then it's climbed in there to kind of live and <laughs> died from the smell. <laughs> the terrible one. So this is the Melting Snowman I think it's called. Yeah, bath melt. Last year they smelled like um, snow cake soap which was like almondy and marzipan -y. This year they've changed the scent of it. So be warned if you do like it, definitely smell it. Don't go and buy like five and then get home and realise you don't like the smell. Definitely smell it in store. Because it smells a bit more boozy now and a bit cinnamony. Mm, definitely a bit boozy and a bit cinnamony. But I don't get it. It's got like an oil thing on the label. It's not like proper oily. I don't know. But yeah, that was the cheapest thing I got actually, which was one ninety five. But I will get like literally loads of uses out of that. And I would definitely I think I'm gonna like it, so I'm definitely gonna go back and get more. Then this is the one I got cinders to go with and it's Santa Sack. And this is another one of the reusable bubble bars and it says you can actually pull the presents off. So Santa sack can be crumbled, crumbled under a hot running tap to give you a foaming bath of fragrant bubbles. You can use it all at once or you can pull out the little gifts and use them in your bath another day. The sack just keeps on giving. And for this one it was um, ah, just everywhere. 415 so like the reusable bubble bath it is more expensive because you can use it several times i will probably get one two three four five six use six baths out of this because i will use the one present in one one then this is split into two because it's wrapped really tightly around it so i will break that in half and use split that bit in two and split that so this smells it smells a bit cinnamony, but then it smells a bit a bit like something else, if you get me. It's not like just pure cinnamony, like smells like the cinders was. But when I first smelt this, I was like, oh, I want to get that. I want to try what it's like. Um, I smelt it and thought, oh, I'll get cinders to cocktail it with. Because when I smelt it, I was like doing a running order in my head. And I realised I didn't actually have anything um, in my kind of collection that would kind of go scent-wise kind of like a sweet cinnamon if that makes sense if anyone's tried the I think it's Quaker sweet cinnamon porridge it smells like that so kind of like a sweet cinnamon but for 415 it's good value because you can reuse them and then the last thing I got was this thing is the I'm just gonna rip it I know what it is it's the bubble beard reusable bubble bar um I didn't get the snow fairy one is it the one that's shaped like a star because I already I still have my one from last year and this is what bubble bead looks like it would be so cool if I got this as a little thingy now but it smells really like lavendery but it's just like white and it's covered in glitter if you can see that yeah there you go it's just covered in glitter and this is 4 95 but apparently they last like forever. But they smell so nice. It's like lavenderish. <laughs> it's got quite a funny little. So what you do with that is you like run the water and then you swish it around in the bath a bit, and it like makes mounds and mounds of bubbles. But it made me laugh because it said take your moustache and swish it into under a hot running under a hot running tap to. F Fill your bath water with scented bubbles. When you've achieved your preferred amount of bubbles, put your tash somewhere to dry off so you can use it another day. That just made me giggle. And then because she was super, super nice, she gave me a little sample of a moisturiser. Um, and it's Sympathy for the Skin, I believe, moisturiser. I've never tried any Luscious moisturisers. And this one like doesn't smell offensive or anything. They are a bit more on the pricey side. But I am. I might treat myself next month. Um, depending on how much much I get paid, I might treat myself to one of these. Um, if it works well for my skin. But it just looks. It's like white, but then it's got like little things in it. If you can see, like you can see some of it. It's got like white little dots in it. But it smells quite nice actually. 
it's ever so slightly florally but that looks quite nice and she gave me like a decent size in the top so i'm going to try that out and see what it feels what it feels what it's like so i hope you guys enjoyed this the color has gone weird for this last section so i do apologize i hope you guys enjoyed and i will see you that's better i will see you next time bye guys <laughs>